Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today, I'm preparing a classic make-ahead freezer meal, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie was a family favorite growing up. My mom made it all the time, and today I'm gonna to share with you my version. Now, I am 39 and a half weeks pregnant, so very, very close to my due date. Even though I have a small freezer, I wanna fill it up with food before this baby comes. In this pot on the stove, I have five pounds of potatoes that I scrubbed and peeled and roughly chopped up. Now, I'm doubling my mashed potato recipe today, half of which is gonna go on the shepherd's pie and the other half we're gonna have with meatloaf this weekend. I covered the chopped up potatoes with cold water by a couple of inches, covered the pot with the lid and then brought it to a boil. So now it's boiling and they have to cook for about 20 minutes until they're fork tender. To make our filling for the shepherd's pie, I have a large skillet preheated over about medium, medium high heat. And I'm just gonna add just about a tablespoon of olive oil in the bottom of the pan and a little over a pound of ground beef and then I'm also going to add about three whole carrots that I chopped up and a whole onion that I chopped up. So the meat will brown and the veggies are going to get nice and tender, probably after about eight to ten minutes of cooking. So I used a wooden spoon to break up the ground beef and I'm just going to season it with a little salt and pepper and let it cook. So my meat has browned and the veggies have started to soften. So I'm gonna kind of push the meat to the side and then use my trusty turkey baster to drain out the excess fat. Next, we'll make the sauce for the filling. And I like to make mine pretty juicy because the mashed potato layer will kind of soak up some of the moisture as it bakes. So I'm gonna start with about a cup and a half of beef broth. And I try to get the lowest sodium beef broth that I can find. I'm also adding just this little eight ounce can of tomato sauce and a tablespoon of tomato paste, which will give it a really nice rich tomato flavor. For additional seasoning, I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some dried parsley. So maybe about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, which is the equivalent of a clove of garlic, and about a half a teaspoon of dried parsley. The last ingredient I'm gonna add is one cup of frozen peas, and you can just throw those right in and they'll fall in a second. While my meat mixture simmers, I'm going to make my mashed potatoes. So I drain them and then put them right back into the hot pot that they cooked in. That way the residual heat will cook off any excess steam so the potatoes will dry out. Now we're gonna add a little moisture back into them. So now we have to add the good stuff into our potatoes. So remember, I'm making a double batch. Don't judge here. We've got almost a full stick of butter going in. <laughs> And I'm gonna eyeball the milk today. I'm gonna start with about a half a cup. And then um, after I mash it up, we'll see if it needs a little extra moisture. And then I'm gonna season them with a generous amount of salt, pepper, and a little garlic powder. So now we'll mash them up and see where we are. If you're preparing your shepherd's pie to eat that night, you can keep the filling in the skillet and then just top it with the mashed potatoes and put this whole thing in the oven. And that'll bake at 375 for about a half an hour till the potatoes get nice and crispy on top. But I'm gonna put all of the filling and the mashed potatoes into um, like a disposable foil pan. That way I can put it in the freezer, put it in the oven when we're ready for it and then throw away the pan and not have to do any dishes at the end. I sprayed my disposable pan with a little bit of baking spray and now I'm going to add in my filling. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add a generous layer of my mashed potatoes. As a finishing touch, I'm gonna to take a fork and just kind of pull up the top of the mashed potatoes. So those little bits that are sticking up are gonna get nice and crispy when you bake it. 
And then when my mom made shepherd's pie, she would always top it with a little bit of paprika and some shredded sharp cheddar cheese. So we're gonna do that today too. I let my shepherd's pie cool for a good hour on the countertop because you don't want to put a hot casserole right into the freezer. So now I'm going to double wrap it in foil and I can stick it in the freezer for a later date. You can also use a sharpie if you want to and actually write the baking instructions on top. So again this bakes at 375 for about 30 to 40 minutes. You'll want to thaw the casserole the night before you bake it or you can put it straight from freezer into the oven but you'll want to add on some extra baking time. So just check to make sure that it's cooked through internally. My casserole is ready to go in the freezer and I'm so glad because now I know that once the baby comes I'll have dinner for at least a night or two. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen for another family recipe and I'll see you again soon. For the full recipe check the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.